welcome back guys into the channel and welcome to another episode of red dead redemption 2 so on the last part we got uh, all the supplies to build our house so i'm hoping that in this part we do get the house built i do gotta say man this epilogue has been really incredible man i wasn't really sure how to feel after uh arthur died in the game like i was like oh do i really want to play anymore i kind of had that feeling of not wanting to play for a minute but then the epilogue has just completely brought me back in and uh just to see the way that john is changing and everything like that has been uh it has been really nice and the more that i think about it the more that i think the epilogue in this game was definitely needed so definitely having a lot of fun with this man i hope you guys enjoy this part but without further ado welcome back to red dead redemption 2. those plans make any sense oh sure seems easy enough i think how hard can it be <laughs> but i'll tell you what i think just to be safe i'll do the reading and planning and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's going to happen. I'm simply going to use what I've got, which is a brain. Why you use what you've got, which is less of a brain. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing it says, the foundation, which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for a while. Charles, dear boy, John needs help moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started before the rains come. You're very annoying. He's right. We should get on with this. No way. We're actually going to build this house now, bro. This is going to be insane. I'm really excited to see how it turns out, though. Yeah, that definitely looks like a, uh, a lot of work. <laughs> no way you could get this done in one day. All right, come on, Charles. You lifting with me or what, brother? I'm not gonna lie, this is kind of cool. <laughs> it is the house building simulator now. I gotta say, I feel like when uh, when Abigail comes back, she's gonna be pretty impressed. I gotta be honest. <laughs> you know, knowing that we built this house. That was a lot of work for one day. Oh my lord. Oh, and look at the little bird over there. Just chilling. <laughs> Man, I'm gonna be so sad if Abigail and Jack don't actually end up coming back. That'd be like a gut punch after all this. Come on, lift, John, lift! Oh my lord, my guy needs to get a tan. <laughs> Holy cow. I like how Uncle's just standing back. Of course he's not doing a thing. I mean, I guess he's reading the instructions and stuff, but... Other than that, he ain't doing anything. He's like the, uh... Your average supervisor. <laughs> Damn, look at that. Well, we work so hard 
It is coming along beautifully so far. In the snow, the rain, or the ice cold wind, whenever. No matter. Any weather. We're together. John is putting in those long days of work, man. And I think that's everything. <laughs> Yo, I can't wait to John see what Marston, this looks like. You have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. <laughs> and you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> oh, now is he going to write a letter to her? Oh, boy. My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you. And that is, I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours. And we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. Together, we've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please, come back to me. Yours always, John. Yo, why that kind of make me sad, bro? <laughs> My God, John's getting me in the feels right now. A few days later, oh boy, please tell me they're showing up. I probably should have like shaved and got a haircut though if they are. All right, still no sign of him. Yo, that is so sick. Uncle, I thought you was... Where the hell? <laughs> Uncle left. All right, let's see. I want to go see if I can actually shave because if Abigail does come back, I can't be looking like this. John. See, there's the campfire. Do I shave over here? Hold on. I don't think I do. Oh, we can fast travel through that table? Oh, that is nice. Let's see, what's over here? Little horse station. Yo, this is actually kind of legit. Where in the world do I shave, though? It honestly wouldn't be a terrible idea either to, uh, Oh, I guess my cores are back up. Okay. I was going to say, it wouldn't be a terrible idea to eat. So it looks like I can't shave. I thought maybe I'd be able to shave over there. I'm not sure. Maybe the game doesn't want you to shave. Who knows? But either way, we got to go find Uncle. This man's probably somewhere out there being drunk. <laughs> Where are you at, Uncle? Oh, boy. Don't tell me he's sleeping by the tree. Bro, there's a whole house over there. What are you doing by the tree? Come on, brother. Just one time I hope to find you working. 
just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Marston? No. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin. So that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're gonna need a barn. Barn will take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. What do you think this is, 1785? You buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, come on. I'll deal with them. Yeah, Uncle is good at talking, I so... Like I, used to. I can't believe this. Now we're gonna go get a barn, bro? There's no way. Let's see, do I have anything I can give my horse? My horse is, there, like, girl. really on. low on the cores right now. Go have a little apple. Maybe I have another one of those. Blackwater. Let's go. Ride to the lumber lumber yard, yumber lard. Oh my goodness, now, that was terrible. <laughs> probably saw you. Thought here's some corn husk idiot, some country rube doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse, and I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumber yard, I'd think exactly the same thing. <laughs> Thinking about it, uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? Oh, no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so like it there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. Yeah, I mean, I guess we really don't have anything. <laughs> I like how uh, John's sleeping bag or like little sleeping place was still outside. I thought that was hilarious. All right, let's see. So we're going to go buy some sheep. That sounds like it could be a disaster. <laughs> But we gotta get a barn first. Yeah. Hopefully it's a lot quicker to build than the house. I'm thinking it will be since they're kind of smaller. This is him. John actually built a magnificent house, man. Like that house was massive. Yeah, Alright, back to this guy. Oh lord. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. I'm sorry, I've uh, um how are you? Did he forget who we were? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna uh, farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut uh, homes? Here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that we're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> I have no idea. Everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I'm trying like to get it. another David loan. Oh, like boy. I, I, this man <laughs> is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! Hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. 
How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? Oh, well, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Look oh, after boy. him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. <laughs> he's going to go to the saloon. That's what he's doing. A painted sky. I know the place. Okay. I'll follow you. All right. Another bounty, it looks like. But this one should pay... A little more All than right, the other ones have paid so far, which is good. Fresh, but I'm pretty sure we still only have... Oh, no, we have $190. That's not bad. Was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican-looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts. Split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him. Hold up, waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. All righty, then. I wonder, can we kill this guy, or...? So who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Del Lobos? Yeah. You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Oh, I ran into them. Mostly Mexicans. Some of them. But some is Californios. And some are regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly. Real friendly. Oh, yeah. Ugh, it's a bad situation down there. Burnings, killings, you name it. I know something of that. And not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild country. Sounds like he needs all the help he can get. Maybe drop in on him sometime. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice were what I heard about them. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. No, he did I'm not. Sorry, that was young. disgusting. We fought back. We was too slow was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, all the kinds of things they do to men unspeakable things i hope that's the last you see of them me too but if not i mean to be ready that is wise you want to hear something i built my ranch house good for you did you make it out of straw bales no <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones me and charles put it up and uncle watched it bark the odd order at us it's solid though real good and sturdy Woo! john marston's got his own house you should come see it it's good country sadie despite all that i try not to fraternize too much with employees you know it sends the wrong message oh that's what i am now an employee mm-hmm that's what the bank says oh well, then I guess our fraternizing days are done. Now, be a good boy and get this bounty for me. Yes, ma'am. Well, oh, poor John. That's like the fourth time he's asked her to come visit his place. And she is, uh, she is not down for it. <laughs> My man keeps getting rejected. All right, let's see. Where is this guy at? We got to be coming up on him, I would think. Turn to Sadie. Oh my goodness, Sadie. What are we even Easy doing? Day. Are you even riding that thing? I don't know. Maybe my horse is just a lot faster than hers. Here we go. This is where we need to be. All right. We should probably uh, lock and load here. Make sure we got everything we need. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Something tells me he is going to be here. And I don't know if that's good or bad yet. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. 
investigate the barn. It's almost too quiet. I don't like it. Oh my goodness, I thought he was in there for a minute. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Oh god, what in the world? Oh, let's get it. You got him? I think so. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. Come on, Ramon. That actually was Let's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be, honestly. We're going to Rhodes. Unless we're going to, like, get chased out of here. It's different there now. Different in what way? That hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Newberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Of course, I bet they all say that. Yo, Sadie's horse is absolutely wild, man. I don't think I've seen a horse that color. Welcome to Rhodes. Back to this place. Oh, boy. Sadie says it's changed. I want to know how, though. This place still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. This is where uh, Sean died, boys. Almost pretty much like right there to the exact spot. That's insane. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. How do you do, sir? All right, let's grab this guy. I don't really know how much money we need, but this better pay a lot. Come on! I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred! Three hundred! I don't think there's any amount of money that I would uh, take to kill Sadie, honestly. Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. Yo, that mustache is doing, impressive. Ramon? Oh my lord. Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are going to ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay. Okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. Sure. Uh, spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the... Bad old days. Well, you did a good job. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. That guy is that dangerous. We have to sit here and watch him. He's probably going to have people come searching for him or something. I don't know. Kind of feels like it's setting up that way. Oh boy. Yep, here we go. I knew it. I called that one. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. You have about 10 seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Two. This is a good town now. Three. Let him have it, all right, here we go. Just like old times, baby. Oh, where do you guys think you're going? Not today, brother. 
Oh my goodness, you know that hurt. Oh my lord. That was right in the booty cheek. Oh, come on. How did I not get that guy? <laughs> he's not even running. I don't even know what he's doing. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna have to try a lot harder than that, brother. All right, let's see who else we got over here. Who uh, who else wants this smoke? There we go. Oh, where do you think you're going? Come on. Jail. The jail. Oh no, was it a distraction? Jail apart. He's gone. He's gone. Uh, well, we brought him in. Now, pass what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. You want to get shot today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another $50 besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go. Jim Milton. I still can't believe that nobody's recognized that name, Milton. Oh. You know? I would have thought by now someone would get suspicious by that. Let's go, girl. Where are we gonna find him? He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. Probably you not guys. a bad idea. Bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks, waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse. Yeah, guess we were. What you I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring roads into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah, he'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez. We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. And yeah, we better, because we need this thing, money. Isn't it? We'll take $200 from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one, but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So... Everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No. I don't know. Usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. <laughs> That's kind of crazy, man, that Sadie does this now that there's, like, no gang because the people she's Hold hunting up. down right now are, like, Fire. what bounty hunters were I'll hunting us down them. for, you know? <laughs> Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. Ha. Oh, man, there they are right there, huh? Right, we're going to have to do this very smartly because I have no idea how many people are over there. I'm assuming a lot, though. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Hold. Hold. We got one down there, too. Let's go up. They honestly might have this whole place surrounded. I wouldn't be shocked. They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. 
You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. I, they look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. This is my show, John Marston. Do as you're goddamn told. And shoot well. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. Sadie is so intense. Holy shit. When do I start shooting, I wonder? Hey! I guess when she gets in trouble, huh? Like right about now. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness. All right, I got you, Zadie. I got you. Where's this last guy at? There he is. Come here, buddy. <laughs> oh, wow. What? Bro, you've got to be kidding me with that. Oh, my lord, bro. There's more of them coming through there. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> They're coming for Cortez. All right, where are the other ones at? Hold on. Honestly, Sadie, I don't even know where you are. Okay, she's right there. Hold on. I got you. I got you. Oh, my Lord. Bro, that man just ate that bullet like it was nothing. Oh, now we got to go down there? Bro, you got to be kidding me with this. Oh man, I do not have the guns for this. Oh boy. I'm coming, Sadie. I'm coming, baby. She can handle herself pretty good, though. Man, I do not have a good gun for this. I gotta be honest. Oh my goodness. Sadie, you are insane. What are you doing just going out there? Oh my lord. Oh my goodness, bro. I could not aim worth the crap today. And we're all out of dead eye, bro. That dead eye drains so fast. There we go. Finally. Oh my goodness, bro. All right, we need to get this gun out, bro. I am done playing with these guys. Nice shot, nice shot. Take him down. Get out these pistols again. In the boat. We got to clear that base. Oh my lord. Cortez. Get some of that, baby. Oh my lord, bro. There's more of them down here. You've got to be kidding me with this. There we go. Aim at Roman Cortez boat and capture him alive. Yeah, he doesn't Try want to, to die. Clever, you're gonna get shot. <laughs> oh, hold your horses, chica. Get out of there. <laughs> I said, get out of there. Easy, easy, girl. Oh, you gave up easy a long time oh. ago. Give him a nice little hog tie there. There's more of them coming. Hey, estoy aquí. Shut your gut. Oh, now. Oh my lord, bro. We got more of them, too. 
Oh man, these pistols just do not reach far enough for this right now. Oh my lord! <laughs> that is insane! Oh, that is disgusting. There we go. All right, all right. The aim's starting to come back a little bit. There we go. Get some of that, brother. I think that's it. Son of a bitch. At least I hope so. Bro, where's my hat? So anyway, well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. <laughs> I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. They coming along, man? Come on. All right, hopefully this time we're good. I mean, we kind of wiped out their whole little it's about group, time so. We collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? You got any more surprises up your sleeve? Level three horse bonding, nice. You are a dead man. The Belobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you and we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Hey, take my money. I got gold, lady. But you was just saying you was gonna kill me. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about uh, all this. Oh, she's playing with him now. Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. You ain't good for anything. Listen, I swear. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mr. Gold, $5,000. Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman. Damn you. Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you. You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're going to come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna go for you! Well, I Man, here we are making more enemies fight, out here. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The fighting and the killing. Sadie is such a badass. Oh my god. Yeah, I feel like she's like the perfect character for this game. I gotta be honest, you know? <laughs> here we are. Back again. Looks like. Hopefully this time goes better though. So if uh, Sadie needs me to move the body every time, how is she doing this on her own? That's what I don't understand. Get him down. The sheriff better move quick this time. I guess maybe the sheriffs came out and helped her. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. Will you though? Will you really? We got him, sheriff. Well, How crazy him. would it be if this guy, if we did see him back, again? Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put him in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed up since this nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. I'll pay you when I deliver him. Plus $75. Exactly. Now, goodbye. Let's go, boys. I, I kind of needed that money boss. now, though. Shut up. <laughs> that Thanks kind of sucked. Can you send my money to the bank for me? Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. This? Or nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. <laughs> Man, I was kind of hoping we were going to stay there at Rhodes because I kind of wanted to hit up the store. <laughs> I 
Bank loan received. Nice. Okay. Bro, this is crazy. I kind of want to go inside of this house. Hold on. Bro, look at this place. We actually do have a table and all that. Oh, my lord. Bro, look at this. I mean, it could definitely use a woman's touch. I mean, it's kind of, uh... It's kind of filthy, I gotta be honest. <laughs> oh, this is crazy, man. Wow. There's even a ladder, but where does this go to? Hold on a minute, what is this? Oh, this looks like Uncle's room. <laughs> I mean, tell me not. Look at all these bottles. I know who's sleeping up here, bro. Oh my god, what is on his bed? Oh, this man is foul, bro. That's disgusting. I'm gonna have to tell him to keep his room clean if he wants to continue to stay here. See, I'm guessing this is my room. Oh, yeah. Bro, this is so sick. Here's a little fast travel map, I think. Yep, most definitely. Let's see, what's in the chest? All right, really nothing. Okay. Nice. Nice. I mean, does any has anyone here ever heard of a broom? I mean, look at this. <laughs> it is all over the house. Oh, my Lord. Who are we going to impress with this house right now? This house is a mess. Abigail's going to get here and instantly get anxiety. Yeah, I do love this place, though. I wish I had a house like this. I got to be honest. It looks like uncle has some... Oh, my God. Did I just break my own fence? Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> All right. Let's go find uncle. No way. There's the barn. Oh, the barn's already here? Dude, no way. What is this? Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. What is in here? Looks like a little feeding thing, maybe? And we got a horse right there. Bro, this is so sick. Hold on, can I look inside of the barn? I was not expecting this to be here. I thought we were going to have to build it. Bro, yes. Oh my goodness. Dude, this is amazing. was your holiday i was making money and to think you call me lazy you've done a great job well that crew did help the house a barn look at this place <laughs> i can't believe it thank you thank you both this calls for a drink Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. Young Miss at Dancing School has taught the minuet to tread. But we go better when we brought our four-tack to Cathead. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out, and then all hands to see. When horn and hounds the forest rend, his pack the huntsman cheers. When horn and hounds the forest Friend his pack, the huntsman cheers. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. As loud as halloo when we send a broadside to Mount Sears. Come bustle, bustle, drink about and let us merry be. Our can is full, we'll pump it out and then our hands to see. What's got at sea we spend on shore on sweethearts and our wives. What's got at sea we spend on shore at sweethearts and our wives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. And then my boys hoist sail for more, thus passes sailors' lives. Come bustle, bustle, drink about, and let us merry be. Our can is full, let's fight it out, and then our hands to see. Yeah! Oh my god, I don't think I've ever seen the top of Uncle's head. Stop. That was disturbing. Get out here! <laughs> Uncle's gone! What? He's fine. 
Let me sleep. Get out here now. <sighs> Uncle's gone. Oh my lord. Man, little things about this game, like that little party, just the little things that it does to add to the character is just it's no, A1. You're wrong. Skinners. You think? Of course. My guess is they went that way. But my other guess is they know we're coming after them. What choice do we have? None. We just gotta keep our wits about us. We know this is a trap. <laughs> Bro, we're going right into a trap. This does not sound smart at all. Let's go. No way. We sure about this? Hold on, I should probably eat something real quick. I tracked them to the road. We'll pick up the trail there. Shit. It's like we forgot about them. We should have been ready. It happened. There's nothing we can do except try and get them back. We let our guards down for one moment. Hush. Up here. You see that? Blood. Dear Lord. They've gone up towards tall trees. Come on. Yeah, Charles does know how to track, so we are in good hands here. John, look. We should agree on something. If it's really bad, this might not be about saving him. What the hell are you talking about? If it's really bad, it might be better to stop the pain. Jesus, you mean to... I mean, you can live a week without a scalp. But it ain't a good week. A gut wound, you can live a month, but it's horrible. What they've done to him might have killed him already, with only hurt to come. We get him, and we see, okay? We'll make it his call if we can. But it may be we have to decide. Okay? Okay. Damn, bro, it's that serious? The Skinners are that something? serious? Yeah. You think they saw us coming? Probably. I don't know. Guess we'll soon find out. We'll be better off going on on foot. Okay. Oh, Lord. Leave All right, hold on. We need to get a good gun going. The horse is in the trees there. Oh, whoops. Hold on. Come hold on. on. I was trying to get off of it already. My bad, Charles. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. All right, you stay here. Stay. <laughs> To the trees. Come on. Are we trying to do this stealthily or what? Because we both have bows out, so. Kind of what I'm thinking here. Damn, bro. If we have to kill Uncle, I'm going to be so sad. I did not know it was that serious with these guys. Up there, to the right. Two Skinners. Lookouts? Probably. Take one. I'll take the other. They were waiting for us. Uncle should be close. He better be. Keep your head. We'll find him. Come on. Bro, I don't know if I like this. <laughs> this does not feel like a good idea. Hold. Patrol to our left. Shh. Kill the patrol or Hold let them it. pass. Well, there's three of them. I don't know. I feel like killing them might uh, make a lot of noise. We can only shoot two of them at a time. If there's three, someone's going to have time to react. Easy. Easy. If they come from the ranch, they'll come this way. We should have burned it while they slept. The burning's better if they're awake for it. He's old and sick. He won't last long. Then when they come, they'll come for a corpse. Damn, bro, they were going to burn down the house uncle. I just built. He's alive. Mm. Come on. They've passed. Let's go. All right, Charles, lead the way, brother.
The music is so creepy, man. There he is. He's in there. You hear that? Yeah. Wagon. There. It's dragging someone. Is it Uncle? No. Some other poor bastard. Oh my Follow. lord, bro. What the, the fuck? No! Bro, these people Stay are crazy. Oh, that's gotta hurt so bad, man. No shirt on? Oh my lord. That's like a dirt rash right there. Oh my goodness. Alright, these people are like hardcore. He's stopping. What do you see? He's picking up. The poor bastard's dead. If he's walking with the body, we must be close. Let's take him down before he gets to the rest. Eliminate take him without him being detected. I think I see something. Uh-huh. Yeah, just walk over his dead body, Charles. <laughs> no big deal, you know? Oh my lord, the disrespect. Yeah, that must be their camp. What do we do? Let's get up on that boulder, take a look. <sighs> Hang in there, old man. Man, I really hope he is not hurt too bad. Okay, okay. I can't see much through this mist. Can you look too? Hold on. Use the binoculars, okay. Don't Bro, is that him on there? Oh, that is not good. We gotta go get him. Careful. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, man. I don't care. Come on. Charles! You. Oh, it's popping off now, boys. It's popping off now. <laughs> oh, my lord. All right, All right let's get out the shotgun, boys. You know what time it is. Let's go. Really? Really? Come on, brother. I'm coming, Charles. I'm coming. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Dude, this gun is amazing. Where's he at? Where's he at, Charles? Where's he at? Let me go in. Let me go in after this guy. Oh, my Lord. Bro, I feel unstoppable with this thing. I got to be honest. Hang in there, Uncle. Bro, is that a fire under him? Oh, my God. Oh, okay, fuck, man. dude. I look okay. You look awful. You'll be okay. Those bastards. We got it. Oh. Oh, looks like we got here just in time. God damn it. I'll carry him. Bro, his back. Oh, my God. Oh, we got more. Yeah, y'all don't know who you're playing with right now. Bro, they got bodies just hanging up there. That's insane. Down that gully. Get some of that, baby. Come on. Bro, look at these bodies. Oh my god. What is happening over here? <laughs> Get some, baby. Oh, don't even try it, brother. You're going to embarrass yourself. Well, I guess the good news is that uh, if we get rid of all these guys, that's good for John, right? Really? A machete? Bro, you've got to be kidding me with that.
Oh my lord. No, you did not, brother. Bro, we are literally clearing a pathway right now. This is insane. Hold on, hold on. There we go. You want some too, huh? Bro, are they behind us now? Oh my lord. Man, they are coming from every which way right now. Was that a two for one? Oh my goodness. How are you still alive, brother? How are you still alive? Bro, how many of these people are there? Oh my lord. Come on, where you at? Where you at? Oh, how does that not kill him, bro? That was like a neck shot. You've got to be kidding me. Okay, hold on. We got more over here, too. Let's worry about this guy first. There we go. Okay. All right, now we got to get on our horse. We got to get up out of here. Come on, horse. Let's go, baby. Escort Uncle and Charles away from the camp. <laughs> get some of that, baby. I'm getting. Oh, don't let me fall. Well, you know they're just gonna come back to the house. We should probably just kill them all, honestly. Oh yeah, you know that had to hurt. Oh my lord, bro, Uncle, I'm so sorry, brother. We should not have gotten drunk. That was a bad idea. We ain't out till we're home. Right hard, oh man. How's the back? I think it looks worse than it is. Burns don't always heal easy. Sure, but I think this will be fine. As long as it don't get infected. It's much better than I feared. Hear that, old man? This could have been worse. He's pretty weak. Yeah, I bet. Stay with us, you old bastard. Does it look okay? No. <laughs> it does not look okay. Not even the slightest. <laughs> Over here. Almost back. It looks terrible, there, man. Timer. I'm feeling real weird. Get back up. We need to get him home. We are home. What are you talking about, Charles? I don't feel good. <sighs> wow. Two more feet, really? Uncle. Hey. Let's get you down. Get this man some alcohol. He's earned it. He's earned it this time. Let's get him alcohol. Thank you, boys. Don't mention it. I thought I was dead. Uh, don't get all sentimental now, old man. And I really think you're dying. It's gonna be okay. A few days, you're gonna be just fine. Oh my you're a god. Easy, easy. Okay. Bro, his back. He'll be fine. You think they'll be back? Maybe, but I doubt it. We must have killed most of them. Now, this is your land. Was it theirs once? I don't think so. I met a fellow said the Skinners rode down about two years ago. They're just angry men on a rampage, and we got in their way. Sort of like we used to be? <sighs> yeah, exactly like we used to be. Maybe we should take up torture. <laughs> uh, we got Uncle singing instead of torture. We're going to be safe here, John. Hmm? Yeah. You? Your family, you all be safe. I certainly I hope, hope so. Because so, my lord, bro. I really do. <laughs> if she ever comes back. I know, yeah. She hasn't came back yet. So I'm starting to kind of fear that she's never coming back. Of course, I hope that's not the case, but... I mean, he has changed in some ways. I mean, look at him. He's putting in work and all that. <laughs> he just does still get in the uh, the occasional shootout, you know?
No way, and they have a dog? Oh, here we go, baby. You... You're... I... He always did have that fine way with words. You doing all right, son? Sure, Pop. Can I go see the house? Sure. Just give him some time. He'll warm up. It's quite a place you got here. It's yours. Ours. I should see about that boy. Who's my new rival? Oh, that's Rufus. He's loyal, dumb, and angry, so he reminded us of you. That's your idea of a joke, miss? I guess. Come on! 